All right, let me give you a few tips right here. If you use Deriv 3D view to analyze your charts and you saved everything, then all of a sudden you come back and everything is gone just like that. Then there's something you are definitely not doing right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and have your freedom that you always wanted to have, right? So this is the window that I'm, I've saved. Okay, this is a window. I've saved a lot of charts over here. So let me just show you the chart that I've saved. So when I go to load layouts, I have a lot of things that I've saved over here. So let's say I go to this 100, I load it, it will pop up right here. So I'm just waiting for it. My network is down a little bit. So once it loads everything that I've ever drawn on this or used this chart for, it will always remain over there. Like what you are seeing right now will always be there until I happen to delay them. And if I go, go to load layout again, and let's say i'm loading v75 right now it to come as i've already saved it okay so this is exactly what i want to show you today in this video you will see this particular one i've used the blue and white candle and a black background for it before i saved it and that's it now i've opened a different window right here and that's specifically what i'm going to use to show you because this is a new fresh window. If you come, I don't have anything saved over here. Everything is empty. So I want to show you how to do all these things from the scratch. That's how come I've opened this window. So quickly, let's go ahead and do what we have to do. Now, this method I'm about to show you, it works very well such that whenever you save the charts, like it's always there for you to get back to it and use, right? So this is currently volatility 25 in this right here now we want to save this how do we save it so i'm going to go here come to save layout okay so when i come to save layout i just have to give it a name right so i'm going to give it a name like this 25 that's how i come up volatility indices i just named it this this yeah so this 25 that's the name i've used to save it and now let's assume i've made some drawings on this particular chart okay so let's assume i've used this rectangular bar to mark out something over here then i used my position tool over here to to also indicate something and i want to come back to this particular thing and have the same thing in touch once i've done this this over here has not saved yet has not been saved yet so all you have to do is to come here click on it and it will save it okay click on it and to save it if you don't click on this it will not save you could see right now the save icon is gone now if i draw something on this chart you'll see that there is going to be an option for save you will see it appeared over there again save so if i click on it it's going to save my chart and if you don't want to use that option you can just simply click or press ctrl s on your keyboard and you are good to go okay now what if i want to save another chart so let's assume i'm gonna go with step in this step in this 200 so let me just enter 200 and i believe it should pop up over here step in this 200 let's assume i want to save this chart as well so i'm going to just make some imaginary drawing over here and i'm going to use the same okay this this time let me use the long position Let's assume I'm longing something over here. Let's assume I've drawn this over here and I want it to be here forever. How do I save it? In this case, you don't have to go here and click on a save. If you save this, it's going to save in the name of this 25. That means what you've already saved as this 25 will vanish from the system. So what I have to do now is to come to this drop down arrow, click on it, once I've clicked on it, you see re you see save layout, rename, make a copy, load layout. What I mostly do is come to make a copy because if I come to save layouts right now, this right here will be saved in the name of this 25, which obviously is not what I want. I want this one to be separate on its own. So I come to make a copy. Over here, I just have to change the name to what? Step in this. And there's 200 this is it okay so everything over here is going to be 
on this chart now if i draw something i just have to make sure i come here and save now if i come to dr the drop down arrow and go to load layout when i click on it you will see me having the vs 25 and step in this over there initially we had nothing over here but right now i've saved these two charts so when i load when i click on the vs 25 it will load the VS25 for me. All I have to do is just click on it and continue my analysis. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter if you have internet connection or not. Your chart will not delete that. You have to start everything from scratch again. So this, I hope it's been helpful because it saved me tons of time. Like instead of me to start all over and draw things on my chart, I just have to save it. If I draw thing one, two, three, then I save if I draw something, then I, I save if I draw something, let's say like this, and I'm sure I'm okay with it. Then I just have to save like this. And that is all. Right, guys, that's all. And I hope this video has been helpful so far. If it has been helpful to you, can you go ahead and hit that like button on the video and also hit that subscribe button and become part of this family. Right. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out the video on your screen right now. It will help you as well.